So I'm going through LinkedIn and scrolling through my timeline here. I, I, I like to go to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and try to find uh, some micro content that people are publishing. And of course, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, whom we all know, uh, I always stumble across some stuff that uh, he produces and um, I tend to watch it to kind of see how things are being put together by his video editors and stuff. And um, there's something here that I wanted to, um, that I really wanted to point out. and. Uh, what I've noticed about people that are uh, really winning on social media with video centric snackable micro content are the people that are pu publishing more and more content um, more so than producing perfect content and so I found this video here it's probably I don't know it's probably about a minute long or 90 seconds and there's a multitude of things that are wrong with this video yet it's still published you know I guarantee you that Gary's not you know, editing his own videos, and I guarantee you that he's probably not approving every single video. And running, you know, the Video Buddy service for the past year, um, I've, I've come across several different scenarios where we're working with clients, and and sometimes we lose focus on um, trying to fo tr trying to publish more content than than more perfect content. Uh, we figure, hey, listen, we're using a professional video editing service, or we're using a freelancer, or you know, whoever you're you're, you're you're, you're having to get your video done if you're not having video buddy done we we tend to kind of look at them more at um at at their polishing abilities more so than their ability to uh, extract and create micro content from long form content and um that's not always i mean it's 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 great to be to have a great attention to detail and to understand the fact that you know you you probably should pay attention to the details but follow the lead of the people that are actually producing a lot of content. You can't produce a lot of content if you have to micro approve every piece of content, if you have to make sure that every single piece of video content is perfect. I mean, take a look at this video that we have right here. Uh, it's about 90 seconds. I'll play a little bit and stop and, and do some commentary. Let's just go ahead and play the video real quick. How do you deal with rejection? How do you work that rejection muscle? Happiness, I love rejection. This is the thing I tell people that grow up in the struggle, you should be great at rejection. It's your framework. What are you worried about? You value other people too much. I don't care if somebody got me. Okay, so just a couple things I'm noticing here. You know, the headline here looks a little weird because how is not capitalized or the H in the first word of how is not capitalized. Um, the camera's kind of shaking around and they're doing a lot of jump cuts and it's not really, it's not the, the best um, it's not the best video content, but they're putting it together for the context of the actual content of what Gary's saying. And if we kind of scroll here to the uh, to the end, I'm not going to play all the way to the end for time. Uh, let me see if I can. I don't know if I can or can't. Here we go. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and play this very end. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't need to do that, but I mean, notice here at the at the bottom, he's got. Uh, open captions burnt in and he's got the word forever <laughs> completely spelled wrong. So obviously this didn't go through quality content checklists 101, right? However, um, it was, it's still published. It's on his, it's on his LinkedIn page. I mean, it's so whoever is um, going through, they understand the importance of releasing content um, and then probably polishing stuff up later. So just something to think about here when you're dealing with us video buddy or if you've got somebody having uh, create your content don't worry so much about the uh, you know people who might judge you based upon uh, typos and things like that now constant you know you, sh you should be concerned about that but don't let that um, stop you from releasing content or don't let that stop you from um, having a lot of projects pile up these video projects that need to get approved before you can uh, you know through your own committee uh, they, they need to get approved before they're actually published because guess what these social media posts they live and die a very quick death and so um, a, a very quick life I mean it's so the, the the death is pretty quickly it's pretty quick on these things unless they're continually shared and shared and shared and so the name of the game with micro content is to um, align yourself with somebody or yourself who can take long-form content and and put it down into micro content snackable content which is really what we've, we've been uh, uh, you know we've been really um, 
finessing that craft over the past year um, and not worry about like the, the, the quality of the actual video that's going to be um, cut into to micro content. Not worry so much about if the headline is exactly perfect, it's got the best font, and that it is, um, you know, um, I guess grammatically correct, and that you've got spelling errors, you know. Um, yes, we should look at that kind of stuff, but don't let that hold you back from publishing your content. Hope that makes sense, and uh, you have a great Sunday.